Okay, so I'm going in with the Rheumatoid Space Shadow and I'm going to be taking this brown shade right here and I'm going to apply that right under as well as a little on top of my natural crease not all the way to the outer corner but keeping it in this area and then i'm gonna blend it out so you want to stamp it into place first just to make sure that you like the placement and once you like the placement keep stamping it into place and you don't necessarily have to build it up that much right here because you are going to blend it out and blend some other colors into it but I'm building it up and now I'm just going to fade out the edges and it's okay to bring some of that forward just a little bit and then fluffing out the edges gives it a more softer look and then if you want you can go in and apply some more brown to make it darker but you don't want to do that right now the next palette I'm going in with is mix off tropic this one is shifting sand yes and I'm going to take this orange shade and I'm going to apply that right on top of that but very lightly fading it in and also bringing that forward. So with this, I like to call windshield wiping. And then I add some circular motions in with it also. You also want to kind of bring it a little on the outer corner as well. And then don't worry about it coming down here because when you go apply your foundation and your concealer, it's going to clean it up anyways. And with this orange, it is very pigmented, as you can see. You don't really need to put a lot on your brush. Just like that. And now I'm going to go back in with that brown. If you want, you can use the brown in this palette. Um, for me, I didn't want that brown because I feel like it's not dark enough. You also can mix the brown with the black. more of that brown still stamping it into place and then I'm gonna lightly blend it out and then go back in without putting no more product on that brush that had that orange and blend that some more and there's a reason why I'm not bringing it forward just yet without applying any more brown to that brush. Okay, just like that. Now, if you want it more orange, you can add more orange. I like to add more orange once I finish with the other color. Okay, so now I'm going with in with this NYX Ultimate Brights palette. If I can open it. And I'm going in with this yellowish orange shade and I'm going to stamp it into place and as I'm stamping it into place I am going to build it up as well and I'm gonna make it fade into those other two colors so stamping it into place and then blending it out so that it's not harsh Stamping it into place. And if you want this yellow to really show through, you can use a white um, eyeshadow base. But as you build it up, as you can see, it'll show. Now, I'm gonna go back in with that orange to blend and fade that into that yellow. Very lightly because I don't want 
to go over the yellow. I just want it to fade in to the yellow. And then I want this to be a little more orange. And again, circle around that without applying anything on to the yellow. Go back in and kind of fade a little more. Just like that. Now with this look, I'm going to use a white concealer because I want the other colors to stand out just as well. And you can use a lighter concealer. It honestly will do the same thing, but I really wanted the colors to really stand out and be more vibrant. And I'm just adding some to a flat brush, not too much. So if you're a person that struggles with doing a cut crease, you can do the guide method, which is just applying it to your lash line and looking up. It will leave a print on where you should stop at, and then you will go along that line. For this particular look, I'm not going to do that step. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, um, I will link a video down below that has me doing that method in it. So I'm basically following my natural crease, but applying the product a little up, just a little bit. I like it like this. So now I'm going to close my eye and fill in everywhere else. And you want that line to be as crispy as possible. But for me, for this look, I am going in with a little bit of glitter so it does not have to be crispy. So I'm just building that product up as well as drying it down a little bit. So now you can go back in with the brown first, but I'm gonna start from the inner corner and work my way back. So now I'm going in with this um, Rude City of Neon Lights. I'm going to be using this white shade, which is called Super Blank, and tapping off that excess and right in this in the corner, applying that. And because the brush that we use for the yellow is a lot smaller, it will take me some time to build it up. So I'm just gonna go in with a different brush, right where their white stopped at. And I know it's kind of hard to tell, but that's okay. So basically in the center, I'm going to build that up. Right. I'm going to stop right there for just a second. I'm going to go into the orange. And right on top of that yellow, as well as that blank space, apply that orange. Still blending that orange into the brown. So each time you blend, you're fading it backwards as well as going over the previous colors. This will help everything flow together. Go in with that brown without applying any color on that brush. And with that brown, I'm moving it to the inner corner and then moving it back and this is helping me fade and blend those two shades together without going back in that orange same with the yellow I am going to apply a little more yellow because I want the yellow to come forward a little bit more. Without 
about going back into that white and then go back into that yellow you can go in with a clean fluffy brush and fade everything together just like this so I got this one from Rue this is the shimmer duo so you have a gold as well as a silver so the silver is called Snoopy Silver and the gold is called Wood Stick Gold. So I'm going in with the wood stick and it looks like this. It's super cute. It's like the one with like any other one. So they're adorable. And I'm just going to apply this. Not all the way in the um inner corner, but a little ways up work my way back I'm gonna do the other eye do my eyeliner and lashes off camera and then I'll come back when it's time to do the rest of the face